There's a huge abundance of video editing software out there, which is pretty natural given the huge role that this field plays in the creative industry. It's more of a reason to make you struggle to pick the software that will fit your needs, ambitions, and creative workflow. To help you out in making this decision, we will look at things from the perspective of a new ultimate comparison between two programs, Adobe Premiere Pro versus DaVinci Resolve. So stick around till the end if you're on the verge of picking your next favorite tool. Let's start by having a quick overview on both programs. DaVinci Resolve is a color grading and non-linear video editing tool for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux that was initially created by DaVinci Systems and is currently developed by Blackmagic Design, following its purchase in 2009. In addition to the commercial version, dubbed DaVinci Resolve Studio, Blackmagic Design now offers a free version, dubbed DaVinci Resolve, with a limited capability, formerly known as DaVinci Resolve Lite. Adobe Premiere is one of Adobe System's earliest non-linear video editing programs. It's currently known as Premiere Pro, and it's a revamped version of Adobe Premiere. It was initially released in 1991 and was only accessible for the Mac platform. Adobe Premiere is the greatest video editing program in terms of functionality and quality. There are a few key differences between the two programs. DaVinci Resolve is primarily geared towards professional-level editing, while Premiere Pro was designed with the consumer in mind. Nevertheless, DaVinci Resolve has some very useful features, such as comprehensive multicam and multi-track audio, advanced tilting, 3D, proxies, and an incredibly powerful motion design toolset. As far as workflow is concerned, Premiere Pro is the clear leader. It offers many more workflows than DaVinci Resolve, including multicam editing, 3D and 360 degree editing, multi-track audio, titles and graphics, proxy editing, and a large library of stock footage and animations. All of these are very helpful for the advanced editor who wants maximum control. Premiere contains one of the best audio features, which improves the program's overall performance value. The Synchronize tool is a common tool used by video editors. You can use this function to sync two audio clips that were recorded at the same time. This is commonly used in productions when the video and audio are taken separately, like it's the case in higher budget films. In DaVinci, the audio waveform can be displayed on top of the video in the source panel using the audio overlay option. This allows you to listen to the selected clip while also keeping track of the audio via the waveform for that exact clip. Using keyframes, you can easily create fades, change the slope of the fade, and erase segments of clips in DaVinci. Simply click the audio clip in the timeline on top and slide the audio volume between the keyframes to add a keyframe. A curved keyframe is already in place. No more steps are required, as they were in Premiere. Despite the fact that DaVinci has considerably enhanced its audio engineering features in recent years, Premiere Pro has greater audio features. It also allows you to quickly access Adobe Audition, a professional-level program. The DaVinci coloring interface is well-organized, straightforward, and includes a note tree for complex clip coloring. The note tree integrates neatly into the project and allows you to perform RGB node splitting for even more complicated coloring projects. Color wheels are available in DaVinci for manipulating saturation, highlights, mids, shadows, vibrance, and much more. This is the most basic technique of coloring, yet it nevertheless allows for the creation of a sophisticated color palette. Curves and waveforms can also be manipulated for comparison or modification. As a result, you have a variety of options for doing the same work. Premiere Pro also has a lot of color correcting options that are simple because of its color wheels, curves, and waveform panels. These instruments, on the other hand, lack DaVinci's tremendous might. They do, however, work for practically all tasks. DaVinci is not just the superior of the two. 
but also the industry's best color correction video editing software. This is due to the fact that it has been an exclusive color fixing program for many years. Its excellent color repair tools would appeal to professional colorists who devote their whole careers to color correction. It does feature video editing capabilities too now, but it was only a coloring software a few years ago. You may compare your current clip to stills from prior clips using one of DaVinci's handy coloring tools to perfectly match the tone, mood, and color palette of the project. Colorists have been requesting this basic yet important tool for years. DaVinci is only the first to do so. Because Adobe and Premiere Pro are so widely used, there's a plethora of third-party plugins and integrations available right now, thanks to the Creative Cloud. DaVinci Resolve simply does not have the same user base, and as a result, there are fewer aftermarket options. Because some plugins can completely change a user's workflow, it's something to think about, and Premiere is far superior in this regard. Premiere and Resolve both use the same basic editing method. It's possible to get a nearly same experience if you learn to edit properly with your favorite keyboard shortcuts. Premiere is a little easier to use when it comes to things like text overlays, graphics, effects, and more. The most important aspect is that it features dynamic linking with After Effects, which is a fantastic program. You can also use any AE project you create as a template for your own Premiere Pro project. This gives you an incredible amount of flexibility. You can easily make minor modifications to the template and have them instantly appear in your own project. This allows you to create very complex projects without having to learn an entirely new software package. Fusion is now included in DaVinci, but mastering it is a little more challenging. Fusion is primarily designed for single-shot compositing. This means you can take a single shot from DaVinci Resolve into Fusion, apply any effects you want, like coloring, stabilization, blurring, etc., and then return it to Resolve for further editing. For a final verdict and starting with DaVinci Resolve, it's extremely easy to learn and use. It has an extensive and powerful preset library including support for many third-party plugins. It also has great automation features. The interface is clean, simple, and easy to understand. Not to mention that the program is based on Linux, which means that it has a very fast and reliable startup time. DaVinci Resolve also has the advantage of being able to render to almost any format, including VR. Looking at the other side of the comparison, Adobe Premiere Pro is extremely powerful. It has the ability to do 3D editing and there are many powerful plugins available for it. It offers unlimited projects and unlimited timelines, and it also has a huge library of stock footage, motion graphics, and other templates. Overall, I think it's safe to say that most people who want to edit videos will be able to use either DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere Pro. What matters most is what you are most comfortable with. If you're doing any kind of complex 3D work at all, or you have particularly difficult motion design problems, then you should use DaVinci Resolve. Otherwise, if you're a beginner or if you are working on a budget, then Premiere Pro is the program for you. DaVinci Resolve is a great program, but it's not a beginner's program. We hope you found this video useful and informative. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to like it, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so you can be notified when we release any new content. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.